always, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the one true name of the Heavenly Father, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of all energy, being Yahweh, and that of the Messiah, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, being Yahweh Shai. I'd like to give double honors unto the elders and the apostles at GMS Graham Millstone who do rule well today through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations me into the elect of the nation of Israel beginning with 140 and 4,000 prophets all the way down to the remaining elect of our nation prophesy to come out of the lies and the deceits of this world and return into the knowledge and the identity of who we truly are, man. Which is not these identities that comes along with this culture that we've been given upon being colonized and enslaved, man. We are more than this, right? We're not blacks, we're not Hispanics, we're not Native Americans, we're not browns, you're not Latinos, you're not Chicanos, you're not Indians, you're not African American. You are in fact the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The gods of this earth, and as such, you have a particular way to conduct yourself, man. Which is why we were given the law. And as the scriptures say, what? Sin, the act of sinning, 1 John 3 and 4, is the transgression of the law, man. So people use that to try to justify the wearing of hats, as I went into on the previous lesson. But through the Spirit, there was a little more that I wanted to mention on this, man. Right? If we go back to this 1 Corinthians 11 and uh, 4, what does it say? Every man praying or prophesying with his head covered dishonoreth his head. Again, this isn't a law, man, so technically it's not a sin. Yet, we are what, man? We are a ministry, right? We have particular ways to uphold ourselves within this ministry, which is why what the apostles had said, hey, anybody who's not following our example, man, hey, they, hey, cut them off. You see? We were showed the example of how to operate within this ministry, man. Not all things are lawful. Not all things are expedient. And one of the things that we're trying to do is come out of this world, man. And we went into it, right? In the Maccabees, the history of the wearing of the hat. And what was that, man? All the, the, That was introduced to us by the Greek Edomites, right? Greekish fashion, man. That's an Edomite thing. The so-called white man gave that to us, man. And of course, man, we, we the salt of the earth. We're going to take that and flip it around and... We gonna look ten times better in a hat than he saw his crazy ass, but nonetheless, man. Hey, when when we're at camp, though it may not be a sin to wear a hat, you're presenting your body as a living sacrifice, man. You will, hey, it's a show of respect to take your hat off, man. You are disrespecting, dishonoring, right? Our head, man. Which is why verse 3 says what? But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is God. Hey, so the head of man is Hamashiach. We're out there presenting our body as a living sacrifice, right? When you are beseeching Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you're to take your hat off, man. We're worms. But you see, Jake wants to find an excuse according to his own wickedness, man, as it's written. Right? Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. This is the book of uh, Sirach also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter, oh shoot, it's a lucky man, I, I keep catching myself covering the mouthpiece, man, so Lord willing, Lord willing that everything I said can still be heard, but, um, so Rock 32, and uh, verse 17, and it reads, a sinful man will not be reproved, but findeth an excuse according to his will, <laughs> hey, so the sinful man is not going to be reproved, man. He's going to find an excuse according to what? According to his will. So according to how he wants to look, man. According to how he wants to present himself. It doesn't matter what the ministry says. He's going to use he's going to use the fact that the law didn't mention wearing a hat to say that it's okay to 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 do so, man. Just because you want to wear a hat while you're man, just take the hat off. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why it has to be such a big deal, but hey, Somebody's got to fulfill the role of exactly what we're reading here, man. Finding an excuse according to their own will. Jake, Jake's going to try to try to look however he wants to look and mix it with the truth. That's why you got Israelite rappers. That's why you got Israelites with long, crazy haircuts, with dreadlocks. 
Israelites that try to justify doing all sorts of crazy things, man. When, as we went into yesterday, what all things are lawful yet not expedient, man. Again, we have a way to conduct ourselves within this ministry, man. Right? So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Which is 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. And uh, just lock it. 2 Thessalonians, man. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. And uh, let me find the point here, man. Verse 9. It says, Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. Right? So we've been given a way, right, to, to, to be in this ministry and conduct ourselves, man. We've been given the law so we know right and wrong according to the mind of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? But there's more things that we're going to do within this ministry, man. Such as what? Hey, what's the whole duty of a man? To serve the Heavenly Father in fear and trembling, right? To, to really to, to, to rule. That, that's the role of us Israelites. But right now, what are we supposed to be doing, man? Pushing this truth. Prophesying. Where is it in the law that you have to prophesy? Well, that's mentioned where? Within this ministry, man. Right? What was told to... Uh, uh, what 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 what, what was made mention of, man? If you love me, feed my sheep, right? I believe that was uh, I believe that was Peter. Hey, so we were told if you, if you love the heavenly Father, man, you need to you need to push His truth. You need to feed the sheep, right? So again, where is that in the law? And like I said last time, man, just because the law doesn't say you can't smoke crack, don't mean, <laughs> you know, don't mean that that it's okay for you to go and be smoking crack. But hey, if Jake wants to be a crackhead, they might use that for their excuse. Hey, it's not in the law, brother. Verse 9, it says, Oh, it's like at verse 10. For even when we were with you, this commandment, this, we commanded you that if any man not work, neither should he eat. For we hear that there are some of you which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. You have particular Israelites that were doing their own thing, man. Not following the examples, not pushing the truth. These guys just think this is some kind of social gathering, man. Some kind of club, some kind of group where you could go and talk shit about the Edomite. No, man. You are presenting your body as a living sacrifice, man. You see? Let me go ahead and grab that and we'll, we'll end it on it, man. Um. Now you see how what the apostle said, I'm commanding you. This we command you, man. <laughs> hey, again, it might not be a law, but hey, who's who's the heavenly father set up this foundation, man. The foundation being Yahweh Shai, and then he set up the men to lay the foundation. And today you have the 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 elders and apostles and the ministry that you have set up today beneath that, man. You see? But it all began with Yahweh Shai. So if you want to be part of this uh, temple, man, and you want to remain as part of this temple, then again, you have a way to conduct yourself. But anyway, we'll close it here, man. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 1, and it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So again, man, it's our reasonable service to present our bodies as a sacrifice. And that's exactly what we're doing when we're at camp. And really when you're serving the Lord in any way, shape, or form, man. What did he say uh, according to your several ability, man? The reason I say that is because I know of a, of a brother's situation who's crippled. And this brother still pushes the truth to those who he's able to, man. You go to a little store and do his thing. Hey, well, that's, that's, that's serving the Lord, man. That's presenting your body as a living sacrifice. So again, according to your several ability, when you call in upon the name of the Lord, when you pray and are prophesying, just as Paul said, remove your fucking hat, man. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close it there. All praises, honor, and glory be to you. How about Shem Yahushua, Hashem, Kakur, Dash, double honors, and to the office and the apostles at GMS Grim Millstone. 
and a sincere peace, love, blessing, salutations, and all you hopeful and faithful members of the elect out there, wheresoever you may be. Shalom.